Welcome back. We're talking with Ian Dobson. Ian, just one more question, uh, and this is related to Port Melbourne more so than Altona. They've got four games to go in the season without any real competitive need to win the games before they play their next really important game in the finals playoff. Now, if you were their coach, would you try and keep the players on a high or would you try and uh, let them ease off a bit and perhaps take it easy for a month? My main concern, I think, would be to uh, make sure my key players certainly didn't have any niggly injuries. I'd give them a chance to recover from all injuries and uh, that would be the main concern. So you've actually got a full squad to go into in the finals games. But you've also got to look at the situation is that he's got to maintain a fitness level as well. And to maintain a fitness level, players have got to play games. It's, you can do as much training as you want to, but you must be out on the park playing actually league games. Yeah. And uh, that's what his, his bit of concern is, I suppose, and that's where his problems lie. Yeah. But good luck to Tacky, I'm sure he'll sort it out. Well, you're saying they've got nothing to play for, young Williams. I mean, they're playing for pride. They're playing for the first undefeated season in Premier League history. No, pride, no. son. You wouldn't know anything about it. Port Melbourne Sharks on top of the ladder with 60 points. Don't answer back. Altona Magic, Ian Dobson side. He's also the state coach. He's a person to be reckoned with. Second on the ladder, 42 points. And Sunshine Georgies with 40. Bulleen, North Geelong making up the top five. Uh, the Warriors are two points up on Albion and Faulkner, which are the only two sides really in calculations. As I said before, you can dismiss Faulkner completely because their run home is absolutely impossibly hard. At the bottom of the ladder, four teams go down. Box Hill, Springvale, Werribee and Doncaster Rovers are the teams in trouble at the moment. Uh, Preston falling back into the zone, but I think they'll be OK. They're two points ahead of the group. That's the wrap-up in the Premier League, except for the top scorers. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Nick Seltzer from Port Melbourne, top of the top scorers list. Uh, not top, top... Not top of the top scorers list. Don't worry about it. Nick Saltzis from Port Melbourne on 14 goals. Vasco Trepchevsky, who is no longer with us. Uh, he's not deceased, of course. He's over in Portugal with 13 goals from Altona Magic. And uh, Craig Lewis and Tommy Pondeljack uh, both have 10 goals for the 1995 season. Help me out, Paul, and go on to something else, would you? Let's go to State League Division 1.